finally feels like, Ben, temperatures have taken a turn and we're really feeling like spring. I've got to say, Lauren, looking at the long-term pattern, I don't see a lot of chances for big snow okay. going through the rest of the month. And then all of a sudden it's May, so might we be done with the snow? Maybe put away the parka? Oh, I don't know. It's always a risky call yeah. in these parts, but it certainly looks like spring as we move along. We've even got some April showers to boot this morning. They moved through the North Country. They're starting to move past Lake Champlain at this time, but still a little bit of rain left in Plattsburgh and down the Adirondack Northway. Burlington dealing with some light showers. We've got a shower moving through the northern Champlain Islands on its way to St. Albans and lighter rain spreading into the northern Green Mountains. Farther to the south, the rain a little steadier, especially when you get south of Route 4, right around Killington, Mount Holly, down to Manchester. Just some heavier downpours in that area, and that is all moving in the direction of Springfield and Brattleboro, so expecting I-91 to get wet as well as we move through this morning. More moisture on the way later today. This stuff in the Ohio Valley and western Pennsylvania is what gets here by the evening commute. And even farther to the south, you guessed it, more moisture to deal with. And this is what comes in for Friday. That'll be the wettest day of the entire work week. And you can just see all the problems this rain is causing. So many flash flood warnings up across the state of Louisiana. Even a tornado warning in the middle of Mississippi. We're not expecting any severe weather locally, but it is a potent system that will be here by the end of the week. For today, you'll just have to worry about on and off rain showers. Breeze out of the south will push us into the 50s despite the overall lack of sunshine. So expect some scattered showers through the morning. It's not until the afternoon and evening that the rain turns a little steadier and more widespread. So even if you don't see a lot of rain for the morning drive, I would plan for a wet evening commute at this time. And that rain leaving for the overnight. So we're looking dry through about this time tomorrow. And then here comes a second round of rain south to north through the morning and early afternoon. Probably lingers in the Northeast Kingdom longest, but I'm optimistic the end of tomorrow is dry. And then you'll see Friday all the yellows and greens showing up on the map, indicating the heavier, more widespread rain that we'll have to deal with by that point. So when you add up all these individual rain chances, it comes out to about a half inch to up to two inches in a few spots. It looks like the heaviest of the rain will be in southern Vermont and northern New York. So in terms of river flooding issues, I would be looking at those two spots, vulnerable rivers. Uh, for example, the Otter Creek, Center Rutland, the Aw Sable River. Watch that towards the end of the week because I think some of those smaller streams will get close to cresting their banks. There will also be some wind on Friday too. Not a significant amount, but noticeable for sure. Mid 60s, a lot of snow melt happening with temperatures like that. Back to the 50s for the upcoming weekend. Showers lingering on Saturday, but Sunday, Monday and Tuesday of next week looking a little bit brighter. Lauren.